Hi, this is Sahana. As part of Entity Framework Core series, today we are going to understand relationships in Entity Framework Core. As you all know, Entity Framework Core is an object relational mapping framework designed to simplify data access for applications. And it allows developers to work with databases using C Sharp, making database operations more efficient. Entity Framework Core provides convenient and efficient ways to define and manage relationships between entities in our application. To understand relationship, first we should understand the application or the system that we are building. Let's take an example of employee management system and try to understand the concept of relationships. In employee management system, there will be different entities like employee, manager, employee address, employee salary and so on. All these entities are represented as domain classes in our application. We have discussed domain classes in our last video. If you are interested, you can go ahead and watch that video. When you talk about a system, they are not independent entities. They will have one or the other form of relationship between them. In our application, we have two models or entities by name employee and manager. Right now, there is no relationship between these two classes. To understand how to set up relationship, first we should know what are the different kinds of relationships that we can set up in Entity Framework Core. Relationships can be classified as one-to-one, one-to-many or many-to-many. -many. In case of one-to-one -one relationship, record in one entity is associated with exactly one record in another entity. In one-to-many relationship, record in one entity can be associated with multiple records in another entity. In case of many-to-many -many relationship, multiple records in one entity can be associated with multiple records in another entity. I know these definitions are confusing. In our upcoming sessions, we are going to implement each of these relationships. Then you will understand them better because we are going to take an example and we are going to discuss and also we are going to discuss how to implement these relationships in Entity Framework Code. In next session, I'll show you how to implement one-to-one -one relationship in Employee Management System. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.